Hey y'all, it's me, Niecy Lynn. This is Floss Tube number 53. It is December 31st, 2020. I'm filming a little bit early so I can get up in the morning and um, get my Hoppin' John and my greens and everything going for my New Year's peas and greens. And if you're not eating those, you probably should. You're probably what caused 2020 to be such a tire fire. Just saying. Just kidding. Anyway, that's what we do on New Year's. You have to eat your peas and you have to eat your greens. So uh, some people use cabbage, but we prefer greens. That's just us. So we're having Hoppin' John and collards and Annie's bacon, ham, and cornbread. And we'll be heading over there to eat and be together. So I'm going to uh, film real quick tonight and I'll go ahead and post in case um, anybody's sitting at home with nothing to do. So. I want to start with showing y'all my favorite Christmas present that I got. This is the best thing ever. Look at this. Look at these cuties. That is, my sister has two boys, grandbabies. That's Dax and Dusk. And then, of course, Aria and Kimi. And Micah had them at her house. I think Shadow was doing the wedding or something. So she was busy for a while. And so Micah had the boys and her girls. And she said they were playing and being rowdy and she just told them to go in front of the fireplace and it turned out to be the cutest picture ever. All so happy, all smiling. I am a little bit crushed that Dax has got his big teeth now and I'm not prepared for that, but you know, what can I do? He has a big boy haircut and he's getting his big teeth and that's really rough on me. So, but this was my favorite, favorite Christmas present. Uh, it was such a surprise. I didn't know I was going to get it and it's so, so cute. And she has them done by Smallwoods. Smallwoods. Anyway, they she has some of them on the wall of her. I'm going to put this in front of my face so it'll focus, maybe. And it, they do a great job, and they come framed already in this little deal. And you just send them the picture, and they are so, so, so cute. So that was a fabulous surprise. None of us saw it coming. Um, sister and I got one, and Annie, and Mama, and... And none of us knew it was coming. So it was like a great, super, super fun surprise. So. Also, a couple of y'all had asked for the uh, countertop cleaning recipe that I use. And I don't have my pen over here. Lord have mercy. I'm going to have to try to do it without my pen. Um, I don't know why I need a pen, but I always have a pen. The countertop cleaner is two ounces of rubbing alcohol, 24 ounces of water, three or four drops of like Dawn dish soap. I use Dawn, I don't know if other dish soap will work. I don't know, but I use Dawn. Um, and then two teaspoons of cornstarch. And you put it in a spray bottle and shake it up real good. You can put a couple of drops of essential oil in there. I put the one that is um, called cleansing. And it has kind of a citrusy, clovey smell, kind of like thieves oil, kind of smell like that. And you shake it up and spray it on the counter and wipe it off. And your counters will be so shiny and clean and sparkly and um you know it has no weird stuff in it or anything so i've been using that since we moved to this house so and been loving it so that um a couple of y'all asked for that and i don't have i'm sure i've missed about a million comments I mean, i've been trying to hit them all but if i missed them sorry y'all it's been you know holiday season so i do have a lot of happy mail and I wanted to show all the beautiful cards that y'all sent. So I've been trying to show some every week. So this one here is from Cassie Jo. And um, she sent me these beautiful red and green DMCs. And that is DMC 319 and 816. And she's so sweet. And I do try to catch her and I'm behind. But she makes a great, great floss tube. And she um, does it real interestingly. So she has tech skills I don't have. So... But I got this beautiful card from her with a beautiful little note in it and the thread. So thank you, Cassie. And then uh, this is from my friend, Buffy. How cute is that? So, so cute. She spends half her year here and half her year in Germany. I got this one and from Miss Loretta. And it is, look at that beautiful. Madonna and Child, I love it. Thank you, Miss Loretta. This is Renee, my friend Renee and Roger. Um, I tell y'all, my friend Renee can't handle anything. Like she can herd cats or anything. Anything has happened. Um, Renee can run in there and just 
get it all together. And um, so that's her and Roger when they got to see Sammy. I don't, maybe this year, but I don't think this year. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they got to go see Sammy and I didn't know about it. I have to check on that. I talk to her nearly every day. You know? hmm. And then I got this from our beautiful Becca. And if y'all haven't watched her Christmas walkthrough home tour, it is fabulous. I love seeing all her little vignettes and her Christmas decorations. Um, that was super fun. So thank you, Becca, and thank you for the card. I love it, and I loved the video. It is her, I think it says Christmas Home Tour 2020, but it's Sambury Stitches Christmas Home Tour. It's beautiful. And this is, oh, oh I had an avalanche. I got this one from Kathy. How cute are those guys? And I've had, y'all finna see, I've had snowman on my brain, so. And who we have here is, thank Chris. Yes, Chris, and Chris is so much better than me because she, um, like, made her card typed out, but it looks like beautiful font, like in a magazine. So I was so happy because my writing, I told y'all, was like a serial killer. So there's my card from Chris who actually got to go on, um, an Elizabeth Peters, Egypt, truer, like my dream. So Chris is probably the coolest person that's ever lived. If for no other reason, just that one, absolute one. And this is from my Hannah, Hannah and Mochi in Prince. She always sends me a beautiful card and she sent me a beautiful gift. And she always like stickers it up and it, it's always so personal and fabulous. And Jan, I don't know where this card has been and I'm not sure when you sent it. It has been somewhere for a long time. This says it was in Atlanta on the 16th. So I'm hoping your husband's doing better. I will check in with you tomorrow. Um, I am so sorry that you didn't have him for Christmas, but I will check in on you tomorrow and see how everything's going. But I don't know, I don't know where your card's been. This beautiful card Jen sent me, but her husband has been uh, sick in the hospital and the first time apart in 44 years. So um, that, that's rough. So I'll, but I will check on you tomorrow and be sure to see how everything's going. So um, I'll be praying for you and worrying about you and hoping that you're having a better new year than, than Christmas, a, a smoother new year than a Christmas. Now, this here, y'all, this card is so cute. And this comes from Julie. It's an adorable card with a Santa Claus. And she sent me some Starbucks gift cards. Y'all know I love me some Starbucks gift cards. I love Starbucks anyway, but um, she does the most clever things. And I don't know how she finds things. But see, look, okay, here's her little, uh, and so it was like this, okay? And y'all probably all know how, y'all maybe y'all all know how to do this and I'm the only one that doesn't. Okay, so it's like this. And so then you open it up like this. But then as you open it up and pull it up, it pulls your gift cards out. And then you just poke it back in there, closes it up. Julie does all the cool things. She does and finds all the cool things to do. So thank you so much. And um, I, this, you do the most fun things. And she, I sent the girls little worksheets that they were gonna do yesterday. And uh, while they were in with their mom, Michael was working this week. They are going to close on Tuesday on their new house, which will be closer to me, which is fabulous. Um, super exciting. Um, Aria keeps informing me that she's gonna hide in the pool though. And um, you know, you can't convince her when she gets something in her mind. So she's probably gonna be taking a polar bear plunge without the rest of everybody taking a polar bear plunge, which we usually do. But I don't know if I have it in me tomorrow, y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Some years I do, some years I don't, but I don't know. Now, I told y'all that um, a wicked stepmother, so go look her threads and everything. She'd sent me this beautiful chart, but I kept forgetting to have it printed out so I could like, um, and I'm gonna show it from the back side so you can kind of see the design. It's a little gnome and a cat, but from the back side you can't really see the chart. It's just like the picture. So it is so cute on there. So it is on her website. It's a, a Merry Gnome Noel, and it's 101 by 98. So it's not giant. The little cat is adorable. The gnome is adorable. So, a wicked stepmother has those beautiful threads and other things. I know uh, Jerlyn 
uh, I think Julianne went and uh, did some shopping around on there. So she has a beautiful site and I've got to go order some threads, which I still have not done. Holy moly. Y'all know me. I have a hard time. I struggle. Uh, I struggle. I did make some banana bread this week and took it over to uh, James's mom with him. He made ham and beans and took that over there. And like I said, we'll go see um, my parents and do New Year's them tomorrow and all. But so far uh, around here, everybody's been good. Uh, Shell Shell's boyfriend's parents um, came down with the COVID, but his dad's a city inspector. So you know, it's, he's essential, so he's been out and about, and so there's just, you know, there's no telling how those things go. So, um, they're feeling okay, and he was completely asymptomatic. The, the son, is Shell Shell's boyfriend's asymptomatic. The dad had a cough and wasn't feeling great, and all the mom seems to be doing pretty good, but um, it's just one of those things that, you know, if you have to go to work, you may bring it home, you may not bring it home. James got, I'm, you know, I'm trying to stop about this here. James got a text that some of his, uh, somebody he works with was be quarantining for a while when they go back on Monday. So it's just one of those things. And if y'all can, if y'all hear snoring over here, it's Luther's over here snoring in a chair. I don't know if I scoot it back if y'all can see him better. Can y'all see him there? He is uh, CJ and Juanita's black pug, and he's staying with us while they're, um, they moved this week down to Katy, and then they will get together with some of their friends for New Year's. Uh, they do every year, and they all stay together. And so they'll be, um, they'll be doing that. They're, they can, they see each other continually, um, so it's not like people come in or going from anywhere. They're together a lot, and CJ and Juanita have just now moved. To Katie for the first time they'll be away from them in a long time so this will be their last time together for a little bit so they're going to do their usual new year thing they get up like an airbnb house the group of them have done it for years and they just stay together that way they're not out on the road or anything so but so luther is staying with us so he wouldn't get um you know upset and maybe get out or anything when they were trying to get everything moved in and all like that. So he's been with us this week and he's been pretty good. He's just hilarious because he's, well, he's I was fixing to say, if y'all can hear James Williams over there saying he has a dinosaur brain, but if a dinosaur has a brain like a walnut, I think Luther has maybe a brain like a garbanzo bean or something. I mean, bless his heart. He just, he struggles. He does now. He struggles more than me and he ain't liking having to go out right now when it's raining and cold at all. He's doing it, but he ain't liking it. Not one bit, but he snores. He snores so loud. He get up and he get sits in my lap while I stitch in the evenings and snores. <laughs> it's so horrible. But I guess his face is all smashed up and everything. But he snores so bad. It is just pitiful. But so I brought him over here by me and his on the blanket that I cover him up with. I, so I sit in the chair and then he gets in the chair and then I cover him up with a blanket to keep him warm, and then he'll go to sleep. But he snores so loud. So if he starts snoring in a minute, we'll have, I don't know if y'all can hear him. He's not snoring real loud right now. He's just snoring a little bit, but he is snoring. So it's 5.50 and you see it's just pitch black outside. So it's that time of year. Now I do, I'm not finished with my stitching mill either, y'all. I, I distracted squirrel. Let me get this out here. I thought I had everything kind of in a good order, but you know, not so much. Now this is from Jill, and Jill sent me all the fun things. Thank you so much. This beautiful thread keep, which is gorgeous. This, the fun little lobster claw thing on there. This beautiful little bag it was in. Ice cream card, y'all know I love me some ice cream. Gingerbread ice cream. I'm going to be so sad when they are out of the gingerbread ice cream at the, um, at the Brahms because they, they have seasonal ice cream. So I'm going to be real sad when they're out of the gingerbread ice cream. So she sent 
simple, beautiful, beautiful charts. And I'm gonna try to flip them around here. Um, some of these I hadn't seen. Some of them I'm in love. Spring has sprung by Plum Street, which I don't have. I have the winter one. She sent um, this one. It's so pretty. For Liberty Dwells, There's My Country by Heartstring Sampler. And I don't know if y'all, I'm sure y'all have seen that a million times. But that is so gorgeous. Um, Teresa's, she sent little dance party guys. How They are so fun. They are so, so fun. And then this one, which I had not seen, Willow Heel, Let It Snow. So, so cute. I love the Let It Snow. That is beautiful. I had a piece of blue fabric that I did a, like a dandelion, like you blow on a dandelion and make it all come apart. And if, I don't know where, I don't know what that fabric is, but it, it looked kind of like that color. It'd be beautiful on it. Um, this little snowman by Teresa Stu. Stu Snowman. So cute. So cute. And then the Jack's Tree Farm. So, which I had toyed with starting. So there's one, two, which says it is Douglas fir. It has a little woody in it, a little woody part, so cute. And three, the little people there around the tree. And then four is the little truck. So, so cute. And then this Mary Carter, and I like to have painted. I have, I have this thing. She's the 2020 Queen of the May. She is gorgeous. Her colors are gorgeous. The design is gorgeous. She's Mary Carter, 1715, 1712. By Hands Across the Sea. And she is just stunning. Stunning. I was just, whoa, she's so pretty. So thank you so much. You know, I'm gathering up the things here, trying to move everything around. I was, I'm always shocked when y'all send me things. And then I have here from a beautiful card. It's from, this one from Melissa before I get the, my stack overlanched. I think I'm right here. This is my card from Melissa with a beautiful card on it. I've had so many birds in the yard eating the bird seed today. And there is this with a little boot, I, and I just, you know, I showed my boots and I love it. You can keep your glove slippers. This thing is fabulous. It's by Dirty Annie Southern Style. And I love it. And I think I'll stitch that boot with ruby slippers or something bright red like that. It is fabulous. And then this is so pretty. And she sent this ornament on the um, perforated paper done with beads. And so I'm gonna try to put it want to twist it. Let me see what I can put behind it where you guys can see it. Oh, right here. Okay. Look at that on the beads on the perforated paper. It is so pretty. I've never seen the beads done like that and it is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then the Peace on Earth Sampler by Cottage Garden, which has a beautiful red house and a flower arrangement. And we all know I'm a sucker for a flower arrangement. And it is just gorgeous. Is that focusing? I don't know if it's focusing. It is just beautiful. And I don't think I don't think I'd seen that one somehow. I'd miss that one. So thank you, Melissa. I was so shocked at this. And I don't even want to. I don't know. I think I may back it with some um, felt because I'm afraid. I'm so afraid for it. That I think I'm going to put some felt behind it to kind of uh, sturdy up my the paper some because I don't want I don't want anything to happen to it because it is beautiful and I always write when y'all send me an ornament or anything I write on the back y'all's name and the year it came and also I don't want to anything to happen to it because I I appreciate it y'all are so sweet to me and send me um, nice things and I appreciate it so much and. I don't want anything to happen to them. So I think I'm gonna put some 
He must be born James Williams over there. He was young and put some uh, white felt behind it to kind of make sure I don't tear it. It doesn't get torn accidentally over the years. I also got my Just Cross It. So that's that's Happy Mail, now Haul. So yeah, now we're moving into Haul. I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine for the this month or whatever, February. And it had, where the heck, of course, did I think to put a, you know, a little thing in there? No, that makes sense. I should have put a little place marker in there. Here it is. The little ski in by Nancy at Pickle Barrel Designs is so, so, so cute. That is adorable. I love that one. Um, and there is a little, what I would call like a mini, I don't know, it's nearly like a hay to me because it's full coverage except for up in the sky, which I would never stitch, but is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And I, let's see, who's it by? I want to say because I don't want to leave somebody out that did that beautiful work. Sharon Pope, it says that thing is just beautiful. But there was the little, there was this little snowman. He's so cute. I mean, there was a lot of cute things in here this time. This one here, here we go. Autumn Lane had, found it. Autumn Lane had this one, Lovebirds. And it's so pretty. So if you're just cross-stitched this ma magazine this month, um, it has a lot of pretty things in it, but those were some of my favorites. There's a Celtic Knot. And then there's a big sampler on in the center that's gorgeous. It's by Historic Handworks. And I'm not sure, I didn't read to see if it's a, re, it's a reproduction of an 1815, it says. And it's in there. So it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I got that and I, I consider my magazines haul because you know, and James Williams did get me the back issues of the, um, to renew my punch nail and primitive stitcher and got me the back issues on the computer. So that was part of my Christmas too. So that is fabulous haul, but I don't know how you show that. So that was fabulous haul though. Now I got this from Shelly at Just Stitch and Ink in Strongville, Ohio. <clears throat> and y'all know I love me some Shelly. And I hollered at her and asked her to hold these for me. Um, early Christmas morning, and I'm gonna try to have, I'll hopefully have it done for next year. It is so gorgeous. With this, I don't know if y'all can see that, the little, y'all probably seen it a billion times somewhere, but it is so beautiful that on the top and then the band around, and then the Winds of Autumn. It has 12 projects in here. They are all beautiful, of course, they're blackbirds. But it has the big berry, the big strawberry. Let me find it. That I think was a club piece. So it has the October 31st, which you know I'll have to stitch. I have Spell of the Moon in a little individual one. So I have to pull it out and share it. But this big strawberry is, and I think I may have Bittersweet September somewhere too. that's one I'm jonesing for. The Mighty Acorn is beautiful, but I am jonesing for this big, I have a lot of these in the individuals, but I did not have this one. And here we go. The first winds of autumn is this big old strawberry. And I can't wait to do that thing. It is gorgeous. So I will pull out the ones that I have already of these individual ones in here and share them because I do have some of them. I needed some roasted chestnut. And I got some 30 count for, um, I'm gonna do the spring stockings. The little BBD stockings that I did patriotic, I'm gonna do the spring ones. So I've got some 30 count because um, Shelly just asked her to send me some different cuts and she's just got me some. This says it's, and I think she has them all named, but they are beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see the different things when I hold them up. This says it's Antique Hydrangea by R&R. &R. 
This says it is chamomile tea. And all these came from Shelly at Strongville. And like I said, I'm gonna do my little stockings on them. So she sent me some different ones um, so I can just play with the colors. And I'm so excited. Creek Bed Brown. And this says it's Lucky Penny. And it is, um, it's more of a green than it looks when I hold it up like that. Let me do it like that. It's got a, just a little bit of a greenish cast to it. And so I want to get some of these going. This is Coconut Macaroon. And this is Legacy. This is Mariner's Map by Legacy. This is Legacy Parisian Gray and Pecan Shortbread, Riverstone, and Sunflower Seed. These are gorgeous, and I cannot wait to get some of these things going. Um, I said I told you I'm gonna try to be a good, better stitcher, a header this year, and um, so I won't have to always be stitching of. I also got this, and I don't know if she has any more left, a wool bundle pack. I asked her if she had any wool, she had some, so I wanna do the little um, Darlene Dion design little snowman applique quilt. So uh, that will get me, that will, that might that might get it all done except for the white piece and the blue background, which it can be cotton, so that's fine. So that, I might have enough to do, get it, and get it done, which I'm excited about. And then um, some Prairie Schoolers. There's 2020, there's 2018, and what is that one, 2017. All fabulous. You can never go wrong with a Prairie Schooler. And then when you order from Shelly, she sends you, she can be sure and send you some complimentary charts. So I've got Joy from Praiseworthy Stitches, Whimsy Feather Tree from Just Nan, and I Shall Not Want from uh, Just Another Button Company. All three, so cute, but she is always so sweet too. Make sure <clears throat> and send you some little extra fun and, and that you didn't know was coming. So that's always wonderful. And she's super sweet, oh, just fabulous. Now, my stitching, which I have not got as much done as I wish I had got done, but I got some done, so hallelujah. And I am needing, hold please, I think I have it right here. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I hope I can reach it. book here. Got a little cheater book, so I'll be sure I say the right thing. In a minute, I was like, oh, Lordy, I need that. Okay, I have been working on my winter ABCs, and I, of course, got my needles. Let me, I've caught in it here. I have to roll it up. There, he's snoring now. Lord have mercy. I told y'all he snores so loud. It's like craziness. I guess it's because his little face is so flat. And I didn't get anything put on a board, so we're just gonna have to wing it here. Well, we got one put on the board. I went and grabbed a board to just rub them for that, so. Um, my winter ABCs, I'm finishing up the quilt down here, and the NOPQ is the cues for the quilt, so. I just gotta finish filling in the white and then put the snow under the little cardinal there. But it is just, y'all know I love this pattern. This is Coffee Club Bobby Stitch Me, a 28 count linen, I think. It is just gorgeous. Um, it's some of the color, four colors. I didn't have them all. Um, do, 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 do. My red is licorice. 
dark brown is hickory sticks, roasted chestnut, bamboo, and then my green is foliage by Weeks Star Works. So, and then the 680 I'm using, and then I'm using a little bits of this for the snow on the ground, remember. So, just a little bits of that for the snow. So that is my um, winter ABCs by Little House. And they did theirs on blue. And I just wanted my letters and stuff to show up um, like louder. I know y'all are shocked that I would want anything loud in me, right? Exactly. And then I did get started on Little House Needleworks Cardinal Winter. That was a gift. Thank y'all. You know who you are. And so let me put this thread out of the way here. I've got this far on it. It's on a piece of 28 count uh, tea dyed Monaco from Down Sunshine Lane. I assume she has it in. I didn't. I didn't go. I hadn't go. I'm getting close to the end of my little stash of it, so I probably should go look. But I did not. But it was been such a fun little stitch. Um, I just kind of worked on it in the mornings when we're watching the news. Cause it's small and it can just sit there right by the bed, and I can just grab it up and start working. And it is. These threads, yes. Some of these on here, I don't think have to be on here, but it is, I've got chili pepper, mistletoe, apple cider. I didn't use the DMC 712. I, I went with the white, DMC white, and DMC 640, and DMC 3371. And I am really enjoying it, and it is just turning out so, so sweet. So I am trying to finish up some ornaments. I didn't get a lot of FFO wing done that I wanted to get done yet, so, you know. Oh, dang, that fell off there. Get under there. I'll need that piece of thread very soon. Put that guy on there. And I worked on, okay, I have three, I have actually has two big samplers, three big samplers from it to me going, and that's a lot for me. And so um, on Nancy's birthday, which I believe was the 28th, she had sent me G. Legere. And this pattern is so gorgeous. But I'm not allowing myself to start another big thing until I finish some of my small, my other big thing. At least one, one of my big things has to be finished. So, but I wanted to start with you on your birthday, Nancy, since you were sweet enough to send me this. And so I devised that this alphabet is so beautiful. The cursive alphabet is gorgeous. So on your birthday, I started, let's see if I turn it this way, if you can see it. I'm taking the L-O-V-E and it'll just be a little pin pillow for Valentine's. And I had this 32 count Pettit Point. And so I'm using a variegated red that is, hmm, it's right here somewhere. It's a variegated red sulky thread. And it goes to reds and browns. And then it has little dots and you can't see them inside the letters very good in the picture here. If I can get it where y'all can see that or not. Inside the L, see here there are some little clear spaces and it shows um, it's got, wants you to put another piece of thread in there. I'm gonna put a brighter red dot in there, a bright red, and then backstitch the letters in the brighter red. So I'll have the variegated red, and then the red dots, and then it will be a brighter red outline stitch around the L-O-V-E. Um, because I did want to start with you on your birthday, Nancy, but I wouldn't let myself start another big project. And I will stitch this because it is, y'all look at that. 
It has the pear, that house is beautiful, the Eiffel Tower over here, and the alphabet, that cursive alphabet, when the borders, look at that ivy border. So pretty. So um, I wanted to do, I wanted to start with you, but I wouldn't let, you, let myself start the big start. So I'm doing the love for a little, like a February, like a Valentine pin keep. So it'll just say L-O-V-E on here with the G Legere letters. So, and um, I, I'm gonna figure out how some way to get your, I think I'm trying to put your initials in there with mine, but I don't know if I can make that work with the dots. I wanted to use the dots. I've had them for a long time. I've used the, had a blue piece that had some white on there and um, I've used it. It doesn't bother me. I've heard some of the people say they don't like trying to stitch through the dot because it's actually, you know, like a little dab of paint or whatever, but it doesn't, um, it didn't slow me down or anything at all. I mean, it didn't, anytime I've used it, it didn't bother me, but I'm not very persnickety like stitcher either. So it's probably, that's probably why, cause my stitches aren't all, you know, so like, so, so, and so neat and all. So that's probably why. And oh my gosh, and Beth. Holy smoke, I'm totally blank. Beth, I watched y'all's video Good grief. And so y'all whip parade. I'll try to find it and put it down in the comments. I loved watching her whip parade and the um, like stitch it or ditch it on, on some of them. And I have one and I intended to grab him. I've just done a few stitches in him last year. He will be my, he's my only stitch from last year that I didn't, that I held over and didn't finish, that's not finished already. And I told you I didn't like that I'd started with, he says he's a 32 count, but he's like dyed. And so I think he shrunk up. And so using the two threads, I think I just used two threads. Maybe I used three threads, but it is like pulling teeth to get to go through there smooth. And of course, part of it's white and red, but it's a little uh, Christmas sampler, kind of a Christmas picture from Frosted Pumpkin. And it was in the, just cross stitch, maybe Christmas before last or last Christmas or that's in Christmas before last maybe, but it's really cute. But I didn't like the way the thread was pulling through. I've only done about this much like stitches on one of the things because I wasn't liking it. And I think I'm just gonna pull that one out and, and ditch it. I will save the pattern. It's in one of my magazines because I do think I'll go back and stitch it because I love the frost punk in there. Stuff's so really cute. And I love the little sandy in it and all, but I don't like the way the thread and the fabric are not wanting to play nice with each other. And it's fabric that I've used before. It's a gingerbread color. I can't remember who makes it, but I love the color. And I use DMC all the time, so it shouldn't, but I mean, something about the two of them, they're not wanting to make friends. So I think I'm just gonna pop those out and and let him set him aside and restart him another time because I don't want to waste the whole piece of fabric when I've just got that little bit done like that. So I'll just frog it out and be done with it and then start it again another time on other fabric because something I've done with those two things, they are not happy with one another at all. None. Now, I have got to get the blog post up. It will be up tomorrow. And the blog post will have the little, um, a little freebie snowman, kind of an orny in it. And I stitched it. I looked for, what got me on it was I wanted to stitch a 2020 mask. But some of the designs were so cute but I'll tell you what I hate about a mask is people say, I can't see somebody's face. I can't, you know, I don't know. I try to look at, I look at people's eyes and I can, you can usually kind of tell people smiling or whatever, you know, just by looking at their eyes. So, but I think that's what's bothering me about the whole mask thing is people, it kind of like hides the person and so people maybe aren't seeing other people like they should. So I wanted a mask 
where you could kind of like see to notice, okay, y'all, that ain't Luther snoring. That's James Williams snoring right now. I told y'all know that. Now they're both at it. Where you could see the, um, that there was a face under there. It wasn't just the stitching and the stitching. Um, I wanted there to be a face under it. So I came up with this little guy here. And like I said, I'll write the blog post and get him up hopefully this evening. I haven't completely FFO'd him. But yeah, he is, and I don't know, probably my head's too big. Let's see. That'll focus if I go like that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but then I'm going to try to flip up his little mask. See, his face is under there. His smiley face is underneath. And that is what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to see that he was still smiling under there. She's still smiling under there. So I wanted a piece of a throwaway mask, but I didn't have one. So I just used a piece of blue felt. I had a little light blue felt that was kind of the same color as the throwaway mask. Now here he is um, without the mask on. So you can just stitch him like this if you want to. And I changed this banding on the toboggan. No, sorry, not on the stocking cap, on the beanie. The banding on this one is one row thicker than on this row. This row I made the band on the beanie a little skinnier. This one it's a little fatter and it has just a little couple of straight stitches to make like a little button up on top. So, I mean, you could even leave that off. You could make it be a guy, a girl, whatever. But this one, I just made a little pom-pom and put up on top of her. And they're just circled in. I just cut a piece of mat board in the circle and then I just shaved a little bit off the side so it wasn't quite as round. But I had a lot of fun just stitching, just stitching them and dropping them into the bin of the clips. But they were super duper fun and they stitched up like crazy quick. I mean, there's nothing to them. So I have to get the, I'll have the blog post up some point tomorrow with these guys on it. I might get it up tonight, but I doubt it. But, but they are super fun, super cute. You don't have to put the little mask on. Like I said, I just tacked it on um, the face of the top guy just because, but I wanted to make one of you could see the face underneath. So you don't have to do the mask if you don't want to, but I wanted an ornament a 20, little 2020 with a mask that you could still see I'm smiling underneath, okay? Um, yes, 2020 has been a tire fire in every way possible, but it has had decent moments, okay? Um, let's not try to steal, let's give the devil his due, okay? There have been good things in all the horror. I'm I've got to know so many of y'all this year because we've been here inside and been able to get to each other through this medium that, um, you know, might never have happened. I might have never started posting more than once a month. I mean, I don't know. So it's been, um, it's been a very trying year. It's been a hard year. It's been an aggravating year, but it has been, it has had its nice things. I've got to, like I said, to know so many of y'all and um, I think about y'all, and I talk to some of y'all, you know, uh, on the regular through different messaging and things like this. And and so it has made the world, even though we're not like physically together, I feel like the world has maybe got to be a little bit smaller because we can talk to each other and we get to know each other maybe because we've been forced to, because this has forced our hand. So I love, love, love that. I love that aspect of it. And now he is, these guys are little companion pieces for this chart. I don't know how I'm going to market it because I still have not heard a word from Etsy. Two of y'all messaged me saying that Etsy said that, that they uh, had refunded your money because they couldn't, um, because I couldn't get 
the product delivered by Christmas. What? One, what makes you think it was a Christmas present? Two, it's a PDF download. I don't know how slow y'all internet is, but Lord have mercy. This was like 10 days before Christmas. If y'all internet is that slow, all I know is pedal faster. You're gonna have to pedal faster if your internet's slower than that because I got nothing. Absolutely, that's insanity to me, just insanity. So I'm not sure what in the world to do about that. So, um, but I had a lot of fun stitching this guy up. He is my design and I wanted to, um, it, it was still back to this thing, the little face. I wanted to say that 2020 isn't just, there is joy out there. There really is, if you just gotta find it. And so he is, and I'm gonna do a little series. He is all days find joy. And he's just a little snowman. And then around his edge is a chain stitch, which you don't have to do. And then he has little tassels out here at the end of his little scarf. He has a little satin stitch on his nose and on the banding on his hat. He's got some little smearing of crosses. So he's ice skating. Oh, put my head out of the way. He's ice skating and he's juggling snowballs. So I just, he's having fun. And I didn't, I started to pick every day. But when you say every day, it kind of sounds like every day. There's something about every day, just kind of eory, okay? Every day I go to work, every day I wash all the dishes. You know, just, I don't know, every day just sounds kind of like wah, wah. You know, it's got that Charlie Brown wah, teacher kind of sound going on. But all days, all days, find some joy. Find joy, all days, find joy. I had a lot of fun with him. He stitched with sulkies on a piece of 32 count natural linen that I had in my stash. I think it's a natural dirty maybe, I don't know. But he, um, oh, and he has some outline stitch at the bottom of his skates, which was completely unnecessary. A back stitch would have worked just fine, but I was goofing around and having fun. So um, I had a lot of fun with him. And I, that's what, there's an old saying, at least there's around here, is how you end it's how you'll spend it. And that's about the new year and the old year. How you end the old year is how you'll spend the new year. So I just want everybody to end it in gratefulness and thankfulness for whatever you can find this year. We've, we've made it out the other side. Uh, we've had loss. Some of y'all have had horrible loss, but we're still here. We're all still trying to get together and get on with each other. Um, a, a new year is like a blank book, you know, and you're going to write the story in it. So, and every day, every minute is like that. But for some reason, our brain seems to click on the fact that that's what we do at the first of the year. But it's not like that that's it. In our brain, we think of it that way, but every day, every minute is a whole new book and we write it. So, all days, find joy. All days, find something to be joyful about. Find something to be grateful about. Things have been horrible. Um, things have been so horrible for some people. But there have been blessings in this. There always is. There's, you know, there's always a silver lining in there somewhere. And it may be a horrible, terrible thing. And you may have to look really hard and think really hard to find it but there's something in there i promise so that was that's the impetus behind all days find joy and i thought he would you know i know a lot of y'all like to put little centers in your bows and things y'all put a bow on something put it so he'd be a good little bow center or just a little ornament or whatever but he would be cute in the middle of a bow a little and he stitches up in no time what is he maybe Maybe, maybe 15 by 20 or something. I mean, there's nothing to him at all. So, um, to get the little orny stitched, they're like so tiny. But they would be cute in the center bows or little ornaments or 
you know, you could, in theory, make one for each person. They stitch up so fast. You could make one for each person in your family and um, finish them out and put one on there for each person. So, or a garland, you'd be great on a little garland, anything like that. But that is just, that's me, I'm, I'm rambling again. But um, anyway, I'll figure out some way to get the all days out there. I don't know. I have a feeling I may be done with Etsy. Maybe Etsy's done with me. I don't know. But it has, um, it has taught me that I know nothing about things like this. And um, even Micah, Micah does marketing for national, international. She's like, mom, I got nothing on this. I am just, I'm flabbergasted that they can do something to you and not notify you, not answer your emails, not, so I don't know. I got nothing, man. Um, everybody said don't send another email, but I waited and waited and didn't hear anything. So after a week or 10 days, I sent another email. No reply to it either. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. I got nothing. So, so I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll do something. But the other, the little ornies, they'll be on the blog and I'll get it written up and get it posted and um, they'll be on there quick, quick. So that, they're just a little thank you for hanging out with me this year and uh, through this hot mess of a 2020 and going on into 2021. <laughs> so tomorrow y'all, in case y'all didn't, I'm not gonna say y'all need to do polar bear plunge. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this year. I do it some years and some years I don't, but y'all eat y'all peas, eat your greens, get some fresh air tomorrow, sit out in the sun, deep breathe, all the things try to keep your lungs clear so that the Corona can't get to you because it's trying. Yeah, I saw it on the day on the news that California and Colorado both have some of the new strains um, that they found in both those places. So, yike, holy moly. So I think I'm about, I think that's about all I've got. I'll jump off of here. I enjoy doing Vlogmas with y'all so much. I have missed y'all. It's been crazy because it's just been like a week. Well, has it even been a week? Yeah, I guess. Because I posted that little quick happy birth, happy happy Christmas, happy birthday. Happy birthday, as Frosty says. <sighs> Merry Christmas on the 25th. And so it's, but I mean, it seems like it's been forever since I've talked to y'all. So, um, I don't know. I will... I don't know. I'll do something about posting more frequently because I do miss y'all um, a lot. A lot. I, the uh, posting every day, I thought nobody wants to talk to me, hear from me every day because I, my life is not exciting. Today I cleaned out from under my kitchen cabinet. Don't hate me, my life is glamour. I did go to the post office, so if you're um, expecting mail from me, I finally found the post office when there wasn't 80,000 people there. And it was pouring rain, but I didn't care. There wasn't 80,000 people. So I went, and so um, if you've got something coming, um, it's on its way. It's on its way, hallelujah, finally. So I did get that done. So um, I'll, I don't know, I'll do something though. I, Cause I did, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking to y'all on the regular. Um, my life is horribly boring, <laughs> but uh, but that's probably why I enjoyed it so much talking to y'all because my life is horribly boring. And so y'all are bring some excitement into my life because I'm just sitting here in the house and the girls are, you know, going to school and, and all. So there ain't much going on. So, but I hope y'all have a happy, happy new year. Um, stay off the road on amateur night tonight. Um, stay in, drink a hot cocoa bomb. Have anybody made those? I am dying to try making those. I'm gonna call Jana and get Jana to come over here this week. Maybe we'll do a video making some hot cocoa bombs because I see those things and that is the coolest thing ever is those hot cocoa bombs. And um, Jana, you know, has the mad skills. Jane's sister, she is a, um, like a culinary person. She like bakes and makes all kinds of candies and things like this. So she's like got crazy skills. So I am dying to make some dang hot cocoa bombs. I don't know why, but that just looks like the coolest thing in the world when I see them melting and then it goes out like that. So um, it's kind of like an absinthe bloom. But you know, like for not hard liquor. 
you know, you know, you do the abs and the balloon ball, the, you know, like that. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, look it up. But the liquor absinthe, when it does absinthe bloom, it goes like that, and it's very beautiful. But it's kind of like that with hot cocoa bombs. So, you know, it's like absinthe bloom for a family show. How about that? And it just melts in there, and it starts going. And I think that is the coolest looking thing ever. So I'm dying to make me some hot cocoa bombs for sure. So I may get her to come over here and um, make some hot cocoa bombs with me. If not, I'm gonna try to get somebody else to come over here and make hot cocoa bombs with me, so. Y'all have a great evening. Get some good rest. Watch the TV thing, the ball drop, or whatever it is you watch. Um, I'm not usually, we usually turn on a movie or something and flip over there a little bit, but um, I don't know why. That's just something we don't do a whole lot, so. Happy, happy new year. Happy all lanes on. And um, I'll see y'all next week if I don't see you before then. Love y'all. Bye, 2020.